Every year, members of the community travel from all over the Lakes Country to the Pioneer Farmer Show for a chance to feel like they've stepped into a time machine, learn about history in a place with no cell reception, and simply enjoy life. That's when all of the uh, buildings are going to be open for viewing, along with uh, great food, potato picking to uh, threshing, sawmill, and uh, a lot of friendship here. One of the main attractions for the weekend is Lloyd Holly's Farm Toys Museum that was originally brought to the show four years ago. Lloyd just wanted to donate his collection to the show at first, but when organizers realized how much Lloyd had, they decided to make his own building to store his collection. I was in the farm equipment business all my life, first with the John Deere company and then as a dealer, and toys were always a big item on our shelf at John Deere stores. We started collecting and collecting, and uh, first thing you know, I have exactly 901 toys in this building right now. And I thought this was a good way to uh, downsize the whole thing up in my age. I'm not exactly in the 20s anymore. And these tractors come in many different shapes, sizes, and materials. Here's one that uh, was really in a sandbox for a number of years. It doesn't have the new look on it, so to speak. Then there's some other different ones that are wooden tractors over there. And there's one that's a lead tractor in this collection. The newest and most impressive addition to his collection, however, is a 1969 refurbished tractor that is standing right behind me. My goal was to add something new each year. Last year it was these pedal tractors, and then this year I bought that old, old dilapidated tractor out in the weather, so to speak, and it took me a month to just get it in shape. We first had to disassemble it to get it ready for a painter, and then we had to bring it in here in pieces because we can't get it through the door. I just finished up the last of the mounting pieces here today, and I think more people can enjoy it here. It's good for uh, the Pioneer Farmers, too. Reporting from Itasca State Park, I'm Matthew Freeman, Lakeland News. The Pioneer Farmers Show at Itasca State Park starts on Friday at 7 a.m. It includes the coronation of the Pioneer Farm King and Queen and concludes on Sunday with the tractor pull. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.